Continuing coverage of the train derailment in Spartanburg. New at noon, the crews working to clear trees and move cranes in to get the cars back on the tracks are making progress. Live on News 13 this morning, the fire chief told me that CSX Railroad accident investigators had a plan to clear the tracks. Take a look, if you will. This is some new video just into our newsroom in the last hour. And there you can see them moving one of the engines that was part of the derailment. It derailed one engine and a buffer car as well as three cars carrying ethanol around 1.30 this morning. There were a total of 90 cars full of ethanol on this train. Two of the cars flipped onto their tops. The third was upright but off the tracks. The plan is to use the four side cranes to put those cars back onto the tracks and then the crews will flip the overturned tanker cars onto new wheels and each tanker was carrying about 60,000 gallons of ethanol. Uh, so we're concerned when we hear ethanol, but this is a low speed track in town. So therefore, when it did derail, it was under a very low speed, so it didn't cause a lot of damage to the cars. And that kept all the product in the containers, and that's what, what made us lucky this morning. In fact, there were no injuries, and because it was not in a residential area, they did not have to order evacuations. CSX told the chief it expected to have the tracks cleared by 5 o'clock this evening. Stay with News 13 for continuing coverage of those efforts.